Youth scent. Hmm. Totally doesn't sound wrong at all. Well, anyways, uh, hey guys, this is Getsumar, and it's coming right for us. Eventually. But yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last episode, um. Oh, it's not actually coming for us, it's walking around. We got the heroes both, let's test it out. Phew. And it dropped arrows, nice. Just what we needed then. You might be wondering how the hell we progress forward, but it's pretty simple. You shoot the rope. Oh yeah. This is the part where I'm probably gonna have trouble is the hero's bow, because with my GameStop controller it might be a little bit hard to aim. But you know, cut me some slack. Or just bear with me on that. A thousand arrows later, god damn it! Oh wow, I failed there, I missed them. Now we got a heart. Look at all these Beamos. Isn't this just terrifying? Well, let's walk forward and... Oh god, it activated! Well, if you sit right here, they can't actually touch you, because they only have a, a limited range, so you can just shoot them all. Because with these Beamos, if you shoot them in the eye, it breaks, because it's like a glass, or rather, it is glass. So easy. Silly Beamos, I broke all your eyes. I should recommend you to lens crafters. Maybe they'll give me a discount, because I send so many victims to them. Sorry, I mean customers. But yeah, um, let's back this up right here and go inside. Because there's a door here and we want to go through. Hey, look! It's the last Goron. He's the only one I found to look actually really cool because he looks all different from a Goron. He's all, like, coalish in that. Probably more spiritual than the rest. Alright, so you're here at last. I heard you might pay a visit, young human. I am farsighted in all things. Here you go, the last key shard. Combine all three shards. My god, this is thicker than your legs. Jeez. Some of your Gorons have a problem. No wonder why you meditate. Not like you can walk anywhere with those stubby things. If you use that key, you can open the room where Darbus, the tribal patriarch, is being held. Who knows how powerful Darbus is in his new grotesque form. But I suppose I should trust your power, considering you came this far. Hurry now, to the patriarch room. That's right, you better believe in me. You better believe it! Ha 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 ha. And we get 50 rupees, but we can't use it, because our wallet's full. Isn't that nice? Every chest we see, we can't even touch. What a slap in the face. So, well, let's leave. And go in the other room, because the beam mostly don't respawn after you break them. I think. No, they don't. Thank god. Because they really use a lot of arrows just breaking all the beamos. So, now, let's go through the door. I have nothing to complain about. I already complained about the snow. It's still the same day, so I can't complain about it again. Although, if you see this room already, prepare to waste a lot of arrows. I mean, a lot of arrows. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of arrows. Hey, look, fire keys. Come here, little keysy keys. Don't make me break down your fence. Look at that, we're even, like, committing vandalism. We're breaking fences. And we're on fire a little bit. We're smoking. Man, aren't we mean? Vandalism. Killing creatures. Jeez, what's the matter with us? Oh, yeah, um, you can also kill these guys with arrows. I'm just gonna do that. So much easier, because honestly, I would hate having to walk over there and then just breathe on you and knock you right off. You can see the other one up there, I'm gonna do the same. What? There we go. Any more? This is just easier in the long run, so I'd rather do this instead of having to put up with them. Oh god, I'm gonna run out of arrows before I kill them all, aren't I? Ooh, arrows! We must get them, yes! Well, there we go. This is pretty much what you have to do. You can probably do it other ways, but this is just easier for me.
Then we run and jump. And more arrows, hooray. And a blue rupee, apparently. So more arrows, hooray. And now we want to go get sent up into the heavens. Which is why I killed that Dodongo. Because not only because Ray Dodongo is no longer my best friend. Mainly because I hate its children. But pretty much all you do is just walk over, pull out your arrows, and shoot the little crystal. Or actually hit it. Sorry, I hit my GameStop controller. It's so sticky. Then you drop down. So we go through the door, and hey, look. We're back in this room. But we're higher up, so we're cooler. And there's a chest right here, so let's open it. Hey, look, 50 more rupees we can't use. How nice. I feel like I missed the compass. Oh, shit, I did. Yeah, I missed the compass. Gonna go back and get that. So smart. So smart. I wonder, could I make that? Yes. Yes, I could. Cutting corners for the win. Although it's, make, it's to make up for a prior mistake, so I suppose it's kind of necessary. So, which one is it? It's behind one of these. Here we go, right here. Knew I forgot that compass. God. Now we're going to get to see like a thousand chests I can't open, because they're all rupees. You got the compass! This handy tool will show you where the hidden, or rather, where the find hidden objects in this dungeon. And it's also got quite a nice ass. Very spherical and round. Yeah, look at that. Look at all those chests. And they're all rupees. I can't touch any single one of them. Doesn't that just make you mad? You mad? Hmm. Do I dare try that? You know what? Let's do it. Huh. Oh, not even close. Yeah. Didn't think so. I even questioned getting like the way back, but it was on a higher level. It's probably the only reason why we made it back, so we just gotta walk all the way over. Hopefully get a heart, because I just lost a couple of them. Because I got hit by fire. Rule number one, don't stand in the fire. So let's keep going. Give me a heart, not a blue rupee, I want a heart. Heart, 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 there we go. So now we can run all the way back. No, I do not want to do that. Uh, what do I do here again? Oh, that's right, I shoot that. Jeez, I was thinking about jumping off. I was like, maybe, maybe. That would have ended really bad if I did that. We want to trigger this. We and it takes us where we want to go. So now let's go back into this big giant room. Oh, sorry, this isn't the big giant room, but it leads to it. However, this time, hey, there's fish. Oh god, get out of the water! Oh god, they shoot stuff at me. I totally forgot about these fish. That's not cool, man. Don't shoot at me. Time for a little fishing. Haha. -ha. Suck on that. Well, uh, yeah, we don't need to walk all the way over there. We can just shoot it now. I can hit it. There we go. Headshot, headshot. Both dead. Same way with the Beamos. Easy mode. I love being able, being able to kill Beamoses. That's the best invention ever. It's so much handier, and I only have 17 arrows for this. This is gonna suck. Because now we have to face them in all their wrath. Come on, maybe I can hit them. Oh, there's one right there. Hello. 
Oh, you're right in the nuts. One, two, three, four. One more, one more. A little higher. Five, six. Haha, <laughs> I got you all. Aren't I quite the true grid of a shot or the pro skittle of a shot? Oh, there's one up there. That totally did him in the head. That like grazed him at most. Oh well. That works. I only have five arrows left, so it better work. God. Hello, Beemos. Oops, I got a little bit antsy there. And now that he's dead, let's um drag him back. Because it opens a door. Fantastic. Maybe I'll get some arrows. Yay! Perfect. I swear, on my first two playthroughs of this, I've had so much trouble getting arrows, nothing would drop them, and I would just be complaining and sucking, oh god. Yeah, those barrels explode. And there's one just behind them, so if I can be pro enough, I'm gonna hit the barrel. One more, come on. I hate this controller so much. No. There we go. Haha, I killed them both. Although the arrow kind of went through him and hit the barrel, but that's still pretty cool. So now we go over here and hit the switch. And it's active! Yay! And where could it possibly take us? To a place where we have to shoot an arrow, of course. So, well, um, let's get ready to jump off and... Yeah. And get your bow ready. And now we kind of wait till we make our way back, and we just let go, and we land right on top of it. Unless they responded to after a shot. Of course, it's gonna suck, because I hit X. Maybe thinking, oh, it might work. But if it did that, that would suck. So let's jump down and go through the door. Only got like a room left in the boss. Big purple dot there waiting for us. Oh yeah. Oh hello. Aw, that must have hurt. I think he fell into the lava. Good. Well um, let's just keep going then. You're shooting at me. Oh they are. Aha! This is why I like arrows. They avoid confrontation. You just sit back and shoot them. Mainly because it one-shots them. Thing is, if I had a shield, I could have probably dodged those. But I can't, so I'm just gonna retreat and just shoot them. Damn, he's got a far reach. Haha, I can't reach me anymore, but I can still reach you. Alright, he's dead. Oh, and he dropped a heart. Nice. I needed one of those right before the boss. So now let's shoot this and... There we go. That totally didn't hit it, but yeah. Oh my god. Ah, they're too short. I can't hit them. But I almost killed all four at once. How did these do not die? Well, now they're dead. A couple burned in lava. Nice. Oh, well, look at this guy. Too afraid to drag along with the group. What's the matter with you, man? You're supposed to follow the herd. Well, not really, but you should have came with them. You abandoned them. You could have turned the tides. You could have won the fight for them. How could you? Now I had to kill you out of pity. Well, let's open the door and go fight the boss. This is a really cool door. It's like cracking a safe. Now, how did that gear move to the opposite direction that we pulled it? I still don't, like, know how that makes any sense, but I'll take it. Oh, what the hell? 
Damn, what they do to Darbus. Hello. Kind of look like Ganondorf a little bit. Uh oh. He's mad, I think. Or rather, he's awake. Oh no, he's mad. And now he really doesn't look like anything like Ganondorf. What was I thinking? Uh oh. Well, if he could have broke those chains, why didn't he do so before? Twilight Igniter Virus. Well, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go hide behind a pillar and hit him. No, there we go. Just hit him in the back with the head with an eye. Then grab one of these and knock him down. Stop following me. Stop. Oh, wait, I gotta put the iron boots on. There we go. Uh, trip mower. Is that play dirty? Then we wait for him to get up and just sit and wait and hit him again the second his eyes light again. Screw Grace Period, we've played dirty. Then he turns Super Saiyan and then, wait for it. BAM! That is so cheap, but I love it. Come on. Ow, ow, don't touch him, stop touching him. No, 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 ah. Quick, grab it. There we go. And... Come on, come on, make it, make it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no, we still made it, nice. Aha. Uh -huh. So now let's go back to the front. And that must have hurt. Well, same thing as before. Just wait for him to get up and shoot him back in the eye. This is probably the cheapest way to do this boss, but it works, so it's like, whatever. Not even giving him a chance. And he falls back on his ass, so he's good as gone. Because you know with Nintendo, the third time's the charm. Stabbed right in the eye. Talk about poking the eye. Looks like somebody needs glasses. Ah ha ha. He he he. Well done. <clears throat> now we have too few shadows. Mm, you know, you've been very helpful so far, so as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zant. That's the name of the King of Darkness who cast this pall of darkness over your world. He's a very, st or rather, he's very strong. You would be nothing to him in your current state. But Zan will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. Still appalls me that the world of light is controlled by a princess, a carefree youth, a life of luxury. How does that teach duty? Aha! Ah but I guess I shouldn't be Petruge. Her circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all. Now would I never wish harm on her. No, as long as I can get my hands on the few shadows, it'll be just fine. Well, just one more left. No, not after this long. Oh, um, hold on. Well, just one more left, shall we? Ee hee hee.
Oh, Darpus is alright. Sorry about stabbing you in the eye, buddy. How about a $50 Lens Crafters gift card on me? Maybe that'll help you out. Jeez, I think I took a little, little bit much off the top. I'm sorry, buddy. I'd have to um, buy a wig, too, or something. Uh, uh, hmm, what am I doing here? Ugh, my head, it aches. Uh, gotta lay off that twilight alcohol, man. That stuff's not good for you. It messes you up. Wow, he's the only Goron that actually wears pants. Or should I say a loincloth, mind you, but it's still something to hide that ginormous rock hard... You know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Anyways, we got a heart container, so now we have six hearts. Oh, yeah. So let's do what we do best and take the little minute thing out of here. Wanna go outside? Are you all done here? Why, yes I am. I hope Lens Crafters honors that gift card for him. But where could we get him a wig? And you wanna save? Yeah, why not? So let's save. Might be a little bit of decent, cause um, when the phone rang, like my computer, you know, did this little sleep thing, and Audacity stopped while the recording kept going, so it's like, God damn it. But I'm pretty sure it'll be syncing up no problem, so, yeah. This is gonna be a long ass episode in probably like 20 minutes. Whatever. Heroic Getsu. North of here, across the plain and past the Great Stone Bridge. In the lands guarded by the spirit of Lan Ryu, or Lana Ryu, you shall find one who you seek. You mean Ilya? About time, he's been having a bad year this time in the NHL. Getsu. Oh, hey, Colin. You didn't see me just kind of teleport there, did you? I'm not a major or nothing, I'm just a hero. Ilya. You've got to save Ilya. His career has gone down the dumpsters. Only you can help him now. Those monsters left me with the other kids. But they must have taken her somewhere else. Whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and Ilya and hold on, Getsu. See, I'm fine now. I can stand on my own two feet. He doesn't even look sad. He has the face of a hero. Here, Colin, take this sword. You can continue the journey for me. Remember what I told you back at Orden, Getsu? When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Getsu. What are you looking at, Louie? Go do something else. So you don't have to worry about me anymore. Go help Ilya. Leave the children to me. I will watch over them, I swear it. Do not let their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. In Hyrule, countless tales are told of the ancient hero, and your deeds bring them all to mind. May the grace of the great goddess who shaped Hyrule bear you on your way. Aw, they're all so happy. They're like, good luck. And the little monotone baby is just kind of chilling in the background like Sasuke's like, I'm too cool for that. Alright, well now that we actually have control again, I suppose I can end the episode off. So yeah, next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess, uh, we'll kind of do some shenanigans, because there's a bunch of stuff we have to do now that we've done the Goron Mines. So I'll well, see you next time, guys. Goodbye.